Hi all, uh, this is Mike here. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how do you flash Lineage OS to the Nexus 5 itself. Uh, so this is the Nexus 5. Uh, I got it off the uh, retailers that they actually comes with an um, original box and, and as well as accessories. Let's just take a look what they have inside. You have the phone, the white color Nexus 5, as well as some accessories that comes with the phone. As you can see uh, there is in there you have the pamphlet you have the charger charging brake you have the headphones and you have the usb cable so these are subjective i know whether it's an original version but we'll just leave it for now so we'll just close it off and we'll put it aside and then, um, this will be the phone itself I'll take it out and take a look um, it's pretty pretty decent looking uh, nexus 5 itself so um, let's just power it up. Okay, it's powered up correctly. It's booting up now. And what we are going to do is to um, flash this to the initial OS. If you want to have the uh, latest security patches and stuff, so that is something that you should do if you are still using this phone. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the stock, but just that if you are using stock itself, then the security patch will be way too old, right? Okay, as you can see now, the um, this is running on the stock ROM. So if you look at it, um, what we have here is about phone. As you can see, the latest version is uh, Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 and the security patch is actually up to 2016, 5th October. So it's like a pretty outdated security patches. So if you're using this phone now, it will be advisable for you to update to uh, custom ROM, which is um, I think the most stable one so far I find is Lineage OS, where you can actually have the um, ability to have a <clears throat> near to stock experience with the latest security patch. So without further ado, let's get on to the uh, computer itself for the rest of the setup. Okay, so before we start, what we need to do is to enable USB debugging. So if you look at about phone, so you can go on a build number and you press seven times and you are now a developer so if you go to develop options you should be able to see usb debugging so you need to turn this on press on ok and you are done so once you have usb debugging enabled you move on to the uh, phone or the, uh, i mean like computer for the rest of the setup okay so after you have enabled usb debugging what you need to do next is just to connect your phone to the computer itself then after that what you can do the first thing that we need to do is to actually flash custom recovery so that we can actually do the uh, flashing of the lineage os itself so um so next thing we need to do is to check whether the device is connected so uh, we will do a add devices so they will start the daemon and there should be a allow USB debugging. If you see unauthorized, there should be a allow USB debugging screen pop up on your phone itself. So what you need to do is just to click, uh, press on always allowed and press OK. Then you do ADB devices again and your device should be connected now. So once the device is connected, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you have all the stuff you need downloaded, like uh, the lineage and stuff. So before we go and flash the custom recovery, we actually copy in the files into the uh, copy the files into the device itself so you can do a copy then you go to nexus 5 and please ensure you enable mtp uh, file transfer so once you enable mtp you should have this in, in, inside and you just need to do a paste right then you copy in the OpenG apps as well as the Lineage OS. Once that is done, then we'll proceed to the next step. Once the copy is done, we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, so next thing we need to do is to do a, a bootloader rebooting. So what we do is ADB reboot, boot loader to boot the phone into fast boot mode. So you can do the flashing for the custom recovery. So once you do that, you will be booted into fast boot mode. So if your lock state is locked, 
at the moment like what i said um in my phone now the state is locked so what you need to do is to do a fast boot oem unlock to unlock the bootloader for you to proceed with the flashing so just bear in mind once you do that um your phone might get uh, reset so meaning every all the data inside will be gone so please ensure that you have backed up all the needed data before proceed proceeding with this step so once you are done backing all your data what you can do is just do a fastboot oem unlock and there should be a screen appearing on the phone itself to ask you whether you want yes or no to unlock the bootloader so so as you can see now um, that this is the screen that you want so you move the volume rocker up and down to select so what we do is yes we are going to unlock bootloader and press on the power button so when you do that your bootloader will be unlocked and the stuff will get erased so we just wait for the process to complete Okay, once your device is unlocked, so what you can do now is to do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So as you can see now, the device is connected. So what you can do is to do a fast boot flash recovery TWRP in order to flash recovery to the phone itself. So you just press enter and now they are writing the recovery. Once that is done, you can move back to your phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, once you have done flashing your recovery, what you can do is to use your volume rocker to go to recovery mode and press on the power button. And the phone should be booted into the custom recovery, TWRP. So you can see it's been booted up to TWRP. So what you can do is to swipe the alarm modification. And there you go. Okay, so once you have, you have done uh, booting into recovery, normally you can do a wipe. So you can just do a wipe to factory reset. And they will factory reset and you can go back go back and do an install so so lineage os add more zips open gips so once you're done you have two out of max 10 files queue so you have two of them ready so what you need to do is you can do a swipe to confirm flash and you will start flashing your device so once that is done you will just need to wait for the flashing device to complete it all done. Okay, as you can see now, the um, <coughs> flash has been completed. So normally, what you do is do a wipe cache and delve cache. So when that is done, you'll do a reboot of system. Do not install. So this will be the lineage OS booted for the first time. So you just need to wait out. wait for the process to finish the first boot normally will take a while so yeah just wait until the boot process finishes okay as you can see the device is finally booted up to lineage so what you can do now is do a next uh, next skip for this time uh, start up as new uh, we can skip connecting we don't use any network for setup continue and yeah, this one we can actually set it to my time zone, which is on GMT plus eight. Yep, just do a next for this. Um, other stuff I will just change it later on. Uh, this one I'll just I'll just close it all up. Uh, next, all set. So this one will need start. So as you can see the familiar looks of the niche, so that's what you have. Uh, Google Play Store and a minimal kind of a looks for this. If you look at it for this one, this is currently running on uh, 7.1.2, Nexus 5, and it's running on the April 5th security patch, which is one of the latest security patch that we have. As I've said, if you are still using this phone, uh, this ROM is it's a pretty uh, I think it's a device default selection that you have uh, this is stable um, and it's um, it's usable and it's you're on a latest Android Nougat not to say latest now it's Oreo but at least you have a Nougat on this device as this device been pretty long so um, so my call if you are using this device as your daily driver please do look for Lineage OS I think that is a viable option for you to go for so if you want to flash back to stock I have another video on that so please um, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you one more of this video so that's all for today folks if you like the video please give it a thumbs up 
And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And that's all for today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!